Hello, everybody. I will try to convince you that you don't need no government or big corporation to, in order to rule your mobility. So you can build your own mobility, your own company, or whatever you want. Uh, everybody knows Uber, I think. Uh, can you raise your hand? Okay, so everybody knows Uber. But uh, Uber is not the best solution for our mobility. Because, in fact, it's an intermediary, it's a middleman between us and the right, and it's taking a lot of money out of this position. And uh, another problem is that uh, in order to, to match the riders with the rights, uh, all that Uber is doing can be automated, can be done by computers. So location, billing, Searching for clients can be done by computers. Uh, especially since we invented a technology called the blockchain. I don't know if you're familiar with the blockchain. Have you heard about the blockchain? Okay, so blockchain, it's underneath the, the Bitcoin. It's a new technology. Uh, <clears throat> So I'm going to try to explain you in a few words what's the blockchain. And I think the best solution will be to, to give an example. Let's say that all of us here, we are trying to build a local market between us, uh, exchanging services or products here in Sitar. Uh, we, could, we could have barter, like exchanges, I don't know, eggs for oranges, but the best solution will be to have our own currency. Um, the, 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 the good news is that with the technology today and with the blockchain, we can create our own currency. Uh, we, can, we can create a token, exactly like, uh, like the one in casinos. So it's just a piece of plastic, but it's worth millions sometimes. Uh, and this material uh, representation of, the, of the, the money, it's done because if I give it to you, you will have it and I won't. So it's a problem, it's a solution to the problem of the double spending. If not, we will need banks who are insuring us with their bank accounts uh, that uh, we don't spend two times the same amount of money. Um, but what if we could replace banks? Uh, and I think that everybody have a smartphone. Do you have a smartphone? It's some kind of a stupid question <laughs> nowadays. Um, so if you have a smartphone, you have a bank. Uh, the technology under this is, again, the blockchain. Uh, imagine that you have an app, an application on your smartphone, that is recording all the transaction in our market, if we build together a market here in Citrat. So a local market uh, specific to our population. And uh, this app will record the transactions, all we do, Let's say that John sold his car to Mary for 5,000 tokens, or Paul repaired the vacuum cleaner of Mary for 25 tokens. Um, let's imagine that this app is self-updating, synchronizing on all of the smartphones in the market. Every transaction is recorded without us doing nothing about it. Um, and uh, we cannot cheat on it, because we would have to cheat on all the smartphones, and even worse, simultaneously. So we will have to change the information on those applications simultaneously. So it's some kind of a, a, a ledger, um, uh, um, that it's synchronizing itself, and uh, that way we don't have to 
in order to make business together, we don't have to know each other and we don't have to trust each other. I can make business pay anybody in the room without an intermediary like the bank. So the bank will be our smartphone. And the, the, the trust uh, will be embedded in this application. So now that we know exactly what the blockchain, I can prove you that uh, we are able to, to, to build here a better Uber. Uh, and it will be a peer-to-peer -peer one, that means between us, we will be the designers or the manufacturers and of course the users of this mobility venture. Let's say that uh, we need 2,000 million euros in order to build this application. Um, we will have to tokenize it and uh, simplify, let's say, one token equal one euro. So how do we get the 20 million euros, so the 20 million tokens? Uh, by adding value to to this market, this network of mobility. First, let's say that we have among us people with enough money to invest. Uh, so we'll have 10 millions to buy uh, computers, uh, machines, uh, 3D printers, uh, and the other 10 millions will come from our contribution in design or in operation, I don't know, charging the batteries or something like that. The beauty of this organization is that this is a meritocracy. We are going to be rewarded by, with tokens for every contribution we, we make. So, blockchain it's aligning our interest and it's giving us incentive to work hard in order to, 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 to make the project a, a success. Um, so you understood this is the blockchain, a network of computers, of smartphones, ensuring us that we can trust each other. But of course, we will need more than the blockchain to, to build the mobility network. Um, uh, we will need, I think, a better solution than the, the, the family vehicle we have, which are two towns, uh, five seats, Uh, so, uh, because we're in the uh, Netherlands, I will start with a bicycle. Um, the bicycle is an individual vehicle, so one seat. So it's perfect, it's agile, it split lanes, you don't wait in traffic. So we will go for a one seat vehicle. Um, but sometimes you have problems because of the snow or rain, bad weather, so we will need a cabin. Uh, let's build a cabin on a bicycle, but with only two wheels it's going to be kind of a problem, so we can add a third wheel. Um, if we add the cabin, we will still have to tilt in, in, in corners like a bike. So we can have a gyroscope who will tilt for us. So an actuator, uh, um, something like that. We'll, sometimes we will need to, to go faster than a bike, so we'll put a motor on, uh, on that vehicle. And this is easy because you can put motors in, in the wheels for 300 euros nowadays. Uh, we will need batteries to do this. 
uh, and it, this is the same. We will find batteries on the internet for, I don't know, something like 1,000 euros. Um, what we won't find today is the infrastructure to charge those batteries. So, uh, we won't ask nobody to help us because, in fact, we have our, uh, our plugs in the wall, so we could charge the batteries on one condition that it will be swappable. So we can swap the battery from the vehicle, go to, to the 20th floor, like with a suitcase, and charge it. Um, to go even farther, we could make that trike we built uh, self-driving. You have to know that uh, we have self-driving kits today for $700 on the internet. For the moment it's only level 2, that means you need a driver. But in two years, we will have level five. That means the vehicle could go alone, come to your door, bring you somewhere, or bring packages, deliver packages. Or if you want to go with the family to the cinema, it could platoon, it could form a train of several vehicles that go together to, to the cinema. And uh, with the technology today, we can do even more. And this is the most fantastic advancement. We can make a self-managing vehicle like it would be alive. So the vehicle will bid for the rights, uh, will search for client, will, uh, will ask for maintenance, uh, will ask for battery swapping and charging, uh, it will be a business unit on its own. And uh, it will even self-replicate. That means, imagine that he would send a part of shares of his profit to the factory to build new vehicles to, to, to make the fleet grow. Now, this is possible today. And speaking about manufacturing, of course, you are asking yourself, how can we build such, such vehicles? Well, we don't need nobody. We can build it in our garage, in our houses, thanks to new technologies like 3D printing. So you can have a 3D printing in your garage and build this vehicle or other software-intensive manufacturing uh, tools. So you would need only the software and then push a button and you have the part built. And other peers among us will be best in uh, assembling those parts. So uh, what we would need, it will be the software. The software is very important. And of course, we can open source it. So we can spread the collaboration globally. And uh, we will have the best software because we will be uh, uh, more of us of developing, in developing. Uh, again, if this succeeds here in Citret, we, we could spread this idea uh, globally. So uh, we could imagine a proliferation mechanism for this new species of manufacturing and vehicles, like a franchise, uh, let's say the McDonald's of mobility. Uh, we could send our code, our open source code, the software, like a DNA to, to Sydney, let's say, where other manufacturers, other teams like, like ours could, could start building the same vehicles. So at the push of a button, we could spread this globally. Uh, and it could be self-sustainable. That means when we once we launch it, we won't stop it. We, can, we cannot stop it. It will proliferate alone and we can make it free because with solar energy, which comes for free, software, which is 
all the investment is done, so we don't need any more money. With recycling, we could make this corporation, uh, uh, our corporation, without government and anybody else's help. So, uh, we already started to build this, exactly what I've told you, uh, my story. So we started to build this, and I can prove it to you, with uh, a small video. You can join us. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. This is all. Thank you.